Hey, what's up guys? This is Erkin from HDD Recovery. Today, gonna be a quick episode on repairing or maybe even recovering this unit here. It's an 8 gig unit made by Kingston. I think I've done a similar repair recently on it on this channel, but if you, in case you missed it, I'll put the link of it in the description box. Uh, should be pretty straightforward, although this thing did look pretty beat up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save it. Uh, hopefully we will, because that will probably save us some time. But in case if we don't, we're gonna take the chip off and recover it directly off of the memory chip. So let's get to it. So we got some damage over there on the right hand side of the headers. For the chip the board was flexed um, but looks like that impact might have not penetrated the uh, connection and it's still there we're gonna run hot iron through it anyways just to rejuvenate things the most of the hit fell right there where the controller is sitting and definitely had damaged some stuff over there yeah I can see and uh, there's quite a bit of wreckage there you can see that this entire side is now lifted all the way here one two three four five six maybe seven eight and the rest seems to be good if we can't get it fixed quickly we're just gonna go into the chip off right out so let's just say i want to spend 10 minutes on this case that is the main question today 10 minutes let's see so first of all i want to just clean up the uh, connections on the NAND. Should we use a jig in this case? Probably not. I don't think it's gonna be needed. We're going with the 40 airflow at 350 to take this component out. And you guys can see what we're dealing with here. So we got one, two, three, and probably gonna get, get into a bit deeper into it. If we flip this, this is how it came out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs out not necessarily all of them are connected some of them may be dummy uh, legs which is going to play to our advantage we don't have to redo them what we need to do is uh, make this board straight again uh, if it's bent like that uh, we may not get the mounting back on uh, the way it should be first of all clean up all the uh, flux residue so we got to redo this one this one so one two three four and five I jumped the gun on the uh, 10 minutes, half an hour in, but I think we can still come off on top if it works on the first run. So I'll let it cure, I'm gonna go watch some Binance and I'll be back when it's cured up. So what we wanna do here is just expose a tiny bit of the contact pad because it's gonna be mainly uh, done with the iron, so I'm not too worried about anything else really. Oh, this one. How did I miss this one? Hmm, actually didn't. No, they're all good. Okay, that's good. Like this needs to be shaved down just because it's gonna be sitting higher than the rest. Okay, so that's out of the way. With that being out of the way, we need to finish up the rest. No, I don't think this is gonna work. It was a bad idea. Yeah, it will be a miracle if it's holding up. But I'm done here with this. I don't want to keep going with this. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, guys. We're taking the chip out and we try our best to replicate the functionality all right let's try this
All right. Would you look at this Frankenstein? <laughs> now, if it doesn't work, then it wasn't meant to work in the first place. Okay. All right. For now, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed because we might be just in a safe mode at this point. Oh, no, we're not. We got the signature. We got the data, guys. So before it disconnects on us, I'm gonna go and build a map of this Fat32 and image it. Whoa, what a ride. This was fun. <laughs> I should have done this right at the start. I was actually gonna just say, uh, forget it and move on and recover it some by some other means like as a chip off as i was mentioning but then i thought that there's not that many pads on this controller and the uh, jumper wiring it one to one may not be such a bad idea will i use it in the future i could what i'm gonna do after this case is done is i'm gonna uh, just um, clean everything with the alcohol make sure there is no residue left yeah the card is full seven gigs but what i'm gonna do after that i'm going to epoxy that whole uh, top portion of the controller just keeping it sealed and uh, in the future if i get the same card i can use that as a donor uh, as a donor it's working out pretty good so there we have it guys the card is uh, operational as you can see it's dripping data slowly and uh, probably in uh, an hour or so we're gonna have a full image of that device uh, if you guys lost important information on your memory card don't forget to check the link in the description it will take you to our website where you can request this service thank you very much for tuning in and sticking all the way through this recovery process it's definitely more than i anticipated it to be i thought i can just uh, patch up the broken paths and be on my way but honestly like running wires one to one on a controller that's this small isn't a big deal it's uh, it was actually pretty uh, therapeutic and uh quick and nice and easy process those pads might have not even needed to be repaired in the first place, but we who knows? I think the biggest problems uh, that I've ran into with this case were uh, number one is that the board was flexed. I couldn't understand whether it was just the binding of the board that's not letting me to have a flat contact between the board and the chip. The chip also didn't have uh, its pads extended onto the sides. They were strictly under. So running hot iron to merge the gap between the pad on the uh, uh, controller chip and the uh, pad on the board was not possible. Uh, we needed to seat it as like a BGA type of uh, process with extra solder underneath the chip and it was just not happening. I tried to set my... Uh, uh, solder balls on it and it just did not like it i tossed that idea and uh, also the uh, uv cure mask that i used i might have not uh, flattened it out uh, well enough so it raised a little bit of like it created a little bumps that would probably uh, creating a gap between the surfaces binding them not letting them uh, touch each other closely and uh, joining that solder together but i'm going to dump a bunch of uv solder uh, mask onto that chip i'm going to seal it up and in the future if i need a donor at least i have this donor here that i can use for it by the time i was getting fed up with the repair work that wasn't going anywhere i actually hopped on uh, amazon to see if uh, they have any of these cards kicking around that i can pick up but definitely it's an older card i think several years at least finding one exactly like it is gonna be tough so uh, thanks guys again for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next episode. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comments below and hit that like button if you like the presentation, guys. It really does help out our channel. Thank you very much. We'll see you all in the next one.